For today's how-to segment, we're going to learn how to make variegated yarns for sock knitting. All you need is a microwave and a few simple tools. To get us started, we're going to use this handy kit, which has your dye applicators, your dyes for dyeing wool, a little bit of wool wash, and all the yarn you'll need to make a pair of socks. Additionally, you're also going to need a bowl for soaking your yarn, some plastic wrap to protect the work surface and wrap the yarn, some paper towels handy, a plastic bag that you can put in the microwave, a freezer bag will work, a glass container to mix your dyes in a stirrer, some boiling water, and a microwave. And an apron and a pair of gloves help. Keep it clean. Okay, to get started, we've soaked our yarn in hot water with a little bit of wool wash. So while that's giving a little bit more soak, it needs to soak for about a half an hour, we're going to start mixing our dyes. You're going to want a glass container, and a tip here is that you always want to add dye to water and not pour water over dye. You just have more control um, over the dyes. So we're going to take our water, we're going to pour off six ounces, and add our dyes. fun to see that color come to life. So give it a mix here, just a little stir. Now you don't want to add boiling water to a plastic bottle, so you would let it sit for a little while. So I've gone ahead and prepared a couple of the colors for us. So now that our yarn is having a nice soak, it's ready to come out and play. So we give it a squeeze, lay it over the plastic wrap, and you're just going to want to open it up so that you can get to the surface here. Then we're going to take our first color of dye, and in order to create the variegated colorway, we're going to start by just adding stripes of dye. This is why you have your cloth handy. Don't worry if it drips. Don't worry if you think the colors are running together. It's not going to be a problem. So we're going to just space them out, depending on how you want your pattern. It's fun to experiment with different widths and stripes. So we'd add, we'd work around the entire dye, the entire skein with one color. Then we would come in and add our second color here. So we're going to add this nice pink next to the silver blue. Give a little dab as you go. So as you can see, I'm leaving enough room for that third color. So I would continue working around the yarn, and I would have my three skeins laid out and work as I go. There are three skeins for the socks. And then you'd work all the way around and you'd flip it over so that you catch any white areas on the back. But remember, white can be a fourth color. You can use that to your advantage. And then here's the skein that I've already dyed. So you can see it has sort of a mottled effect. As I said, you don't have to worry about bleeding. It's going to set in and work for you beautifully. And then what we would do is, of course, this would be a dyed skein. Move our, clear our area, wrap up the skein like so. Then we're going to add it, put it in a plastic bag. Now. You want to make sure that the plastic bag stays open. Um, you don't want any exploding yarn in your microwave. So we'd add it here and just fold it over and give it a tie. Now I picked up a microwave that I just got at a garage sale and I have a great space in my garage that I use for dyeing. And I would put this in the microwave for four minutes and cook it on both sides. But I've already prepared one for us today. And be careful, this one has had a chance to cool, but it gets really hot. So I've cooked this on four minutes, turned it over, and flipped it. I cooked it for another four minutes. So you can see as it cools, it's good to get it when it's kind of warm. And we'll just pull it apart here. And we have, this is like opening a Christmas package. You're always going to find something new and exciting. So we'll get our yarns out. 
So that's what the arm would look like. I would let it sit and dry overnight. You can hang it over the shower. Just put some plastic underneath. And these are just acid dyes, so they clean up with a, a light Clorox solution if it tends to, to fall on this, the tile. And um, once it's dried, then you just wash it, and you end up with fabulously dyed yarn. And in this case, it makes these socks. But this also comes, you can have lots of colorways to play with. You can play with different stripes and widths for different effects, um, similar tones, use the white. So that's an easy way for you to make your own yarn for unique socks.